for eukaryotic organisms like animals and plants, the dogma is that one gene makes one RNA molecule, which is a template for making one protein. Now, our work shows that in green algae, which are related to plants, one RNA molecule is a template for multiple proteins. This is just like the situation in bacteria, where it is common for a single mRNA molecule to encode several proteins. Our discovery then reveals an unknown similarity between bacteria and more complex forms of life. Scientists have long known that bacteria, the prokaryotes, organize their genes into operons, which is just a fancy way of saying that proteins with a similar function are co-expressed on a single molecule of mRNA. This strategy of co-expression was thought to be extremely rare in the eukaryotes, the higher order organisms such as animals, plants, and green algae. Our discovery is that green algae actually use operons for hundreds of their genes. This is on the one hand interesting because it forces us to essentially reevaluate some of the differences between bacteria and eukaryotes. On a more practical level, this also helps us because it gives us new tools to help interrogate the genomes of these algae to learn what their genes actually do. You never know where research takes you and you cannot predict discoveries. Sometimes when you don't understand something, it is because there is something unexpected to be discovered. One of the characteristics of the Department of Energy that I admire the most is that not only does the DOE sponsor research that addresses energy challenges that our nation faces and will face, they also sponsor research that addresses how to meet those challenges in an environmentally sustainable way. Algae are a key component to that energy strategy. One of the outcomes of this study that I'm particularly excited about is the potential for new synthetic biology tools. One of the ways to offset the cost of a biofuel derived from photosynthesis is to use multipurpose organisms. What I mean by that is that a multipurpose alga would be able to make biofuel precursors in addition to other products that can be sold, such as pharmaceuticals and cosmetics. The discovery of these polycystronic transcripts and other genome-based discoveries we have made during this project, such as functional gene neighborhoods, where functionally cooperative proteins are encoded by physically neighboring genes, can be used to build synthetic pathways that produce desired chemicals using energy from sunlight. In a lot of ways, this is where the fun begins. We demonstrated that we can use our discovery to help us co-express pairs of proteins in vitro, that is to say, in the test tube. Now, we're using these same techniques to be able to express pairs of proteins in living organisms, and that's very exciting.